Bitcoin, it fell yesterday, so it'll fall tomorrow, is not forecasting. I'm Bob Stokes with Elliott Wave International. In 2021, there have been junctures in Bitcoin's price journey where observers either called for the cryptocurrency's demise or proclaimed that its price would reach some astronomical level. Both extremes appear to be based on hardly anything more than recent price action, or put another way, linear extrapolation. On the other hand, Elliott Wave practitioners avoid this error by anticipating price turns. As Frost & Prechter's Elliott Wave principle, Key to Market Behavior says, the primary value of the Wave principle is that it provides a context for market analysis. For example, when Bitcoin slid from near $42,000 to $30,000 in January, a major financial magazine asked, Bitcoin is Crashed. Is this the end? On February 5th, after the cryptocurrency hit its January bottom, subscribers to our global market perspective were offered context. Here's a quote. Our preferred Elliott wave count is that Bitcoin is advancing within the subwaves of a larger upwave. The Elliott wave correction played out for most of January. Wave evidence suggests that the correction ended on January 22nd. As you probably know, the digital currency went on to climb to as high as near $58,000 on February 22nd, but then another sizable decline followed. The price had dropped around $12,000 in just a matter of days. But yet again, Bitcoin bounced back and eventually hit an April 14th then all-time high of near $65,000. Linear extrapolation was evident again, this time on the wildly bullish side. Here's a notable example why Bitcoin could rocket to $400,000 in 2021. Yet Bitcoin fell dramatically. That was followed by another linear extrapolation flip-flop. Most investors see Bitcoin ending the year below $30,000. A day later, our July 2nd global market perspective said Bitcoin is at or near the end of an Elliott wave correction. Well before the end of July, the price began to advance. The digital currency hit an all-time high north of $67,000 in early November and has since substantially declined. Now is the time to look to our global market perspective and the Elliott Wave model for continued context so you can anticipate what's next. Just follow the link below this video to get started.